Thank you very much for all attending. It's, this event doesn't work if there's not an audience like yourselves there. And um, all of the discussion that's happened has raised loads of thoughts in my mind about what we need to um, put into DCLG's thinking, as someone said at the back there, when they're updating the NPPF and so on. So that's fantastic. Um, I did promise at the start of the day um, some announcements. So here we go. The Security Institute have already put this out to its membership uh, today. So I would like to welcome the CEO of the Security Institute to the stage to join me. So Rick Monfield is the CEO of the Security Institute. Come on, Rick. So I'll just quickly say that um, to take this work that we've discussed today forward and um, a lot of the kind of work that both of our organisations do, I'll let Rick explain who the Security Institute is in a second. We have just signed a memorandum of understanding so that BRE and the Security Institute can work more closely together. Um, and the first manifestation of that is in the formation of a special interest group for built environment security. Now, the Security Institute has a lot of members who are involved in operational security, but lots of designers and consultants and so on. And this gives them an opportunity to be recognized for the benefits they bring to their employers in security and also the benefits they bring to securing the built environment. We've been working in security for, as Gareth said, over 120 years in terms of testing and certification, but there is so much more uh, to be done. And I think as the theme of all of today has kind of raised, we're only going to do that by working together. So we want to collaborate with, obviously, the Security Institute in doing that. So if you are interested in joining the special interest group, it's likely that there will be quarterly events. And we will open this up, as has been announced by the Security Institute today, to anyone, whether you're a product manufacturer, whether you're a planner, urban designer, whatever it is. Um, and I should mention, Mark, who has presented today, is the co-chair with me. So you should come up here as well, Mark, to, to be recognized. And, I, and we're going to celebrate this announcement with some, some drinks over in our innovation park um, until around about 5 p.m. So if you, you do want to stay with us for another hour and a half, uh, we'd very much welcome you over there. There's going to be a project showcase as well where we get to see some of the good examples of the things we've been talking about today. They've been provided by our sponsors and our kind of exhibitors, but also by some of our licensed consultants. So um, it would be great if you could join us. And there are non-alcoholic drinks. We recognize a lot of people have driven here today, so um, you don't have to be forced into drinking alcohol. But I will now hand over to Rick so he can say a bit more about the, the MOU. Sure. Uh, thanks very much. I will keep it very short. Um, we were delighted as an institute a uh, number of months ago to be introduced to BRE, not an organisation I'm unfamiliar with. Um, I am a chartered security professional, not just the CEO of the, of the Security Institute, but um, the Red Book has been something that's an app on my phone I've had for more than six years. So it's, uh, it, I was delighted to be invited in to, to um, discuss a concept that was the Sabre assessment. And it was music to my ears because as a consultant, and the last six, seven years since I left the, the British Army, I had done surveys of residential properties and buildings where the first thing I asked for is the previous report. And generally speaking, those reports were disasters. They were either uh, focused on under vehicle booby traps um, rather than contemporary threats. And they missed out so much and they included so many things that were unnecessary. And what the result was that the, the business that I was in to consult with had committed a load of funds to a knee-jerk reaction, something they needn't have spent money on, and actually still had vulnerabilities that they hadn't been notified of. The reason I welcome the Sabre assessment uh, and that we fully endorse it as the Security Institute is it takes away the guesswork. It takes away the shysters, the people that are out there doing assessments with their own templates creating more vulnerabilities than they are fixing for the clients who are putting their trust in them. This qualification means that you can't miss anything. You will fit everything to that client. It will be tailored approach and it will allocate resources appropriately. And then across the industry, we can have some assurance that people are being protected at a time that they arguably need protecting more than they ever have. So, um, we released today a, a memo on the Security Institute uh, website to, and through our membership uh, constant contact form telling everybody we'd initiated this new special interest group for the built environment in collaboration with BRE and it's been out there now for um, about three hours and 
Paul Drury, who's, um, who is the guy that introduced us all together in the first place from Experian, um, and is one of the directors of the Institute, by the way, uh, is keeping a tally at the minute on how many people have volunteered already. And well, by the time I was walking up here, I think we were sitting at 28. 28, 28 people already committed to, to this special interest group, which will be, we have special interest groups in the nuclear industry, standard CCTV, uh, that have been running for a decade and haven't had this level of interest. So we knew this was going to happen. It was a no brainer that we partner with BRE. And, and I personally um, will be backing this with everything I have. We will be uh, advertising this and promoting it within our, our membership of two and a half thousand people to push them if they are in the consultancy field and working in a built environment to qualify so that we can raise the standards, which essentially is what the Security Institute is all about, raising standards and promoting professionalism. And that's what this does. So thank you very much. Uh, I look forward to seeing how it uh, develops. Thanks, Cheers, mate. To all the speakers, Thank you very much uh, for your contribution today. Uh, we greatly appreciate it, and to all the delegates. So, uh, did anybody want a drink? Follow me. Thank you.